All right, so uh, welcome to uh, Modern Samurai TV and uh, King Talks About. King Talks About. We're here at Carney Point. See my other video for the space. We're in the cafeteria. There's a little bit of music going on upstairs. We'll see. Hopefully I can get rid of it. If not, enjoy listening to whatever the heck that is that's going on up there. <laughs> so, um, all right, so what are we going to talk about? We're... We're going to talk about movies, right? We're, 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 we're going to talk about movies. We're going to talk about um, movie universes. We're going to talk about uh, the mummy as the beginning of a movie universe, the um, the dark universe, as they want to call it. Right. And I'm going to talk about Wonder Woman as a continuation of the DC extended universe. So uh, I'll let... You want me to go first? Can go first. All right. Well, I haven't talked about the mummy yet. Um, on my channel. This will, I don't know if I talked about movies before. I probably have. So, yeah, The Mummy is, uh, for those of you who are too young to remember the old uh, black and white sort of, um, what they're now calling the Dark Universe, but we knew it as the Universal Monsters um, thing. So it was like The Mummy and Creature from the Black Lagoon and um, Dracula and whatever you know, there was a whole oh werewolf, yeah, werewolf Wolfman or wolf, whatever. Yeah, the Wolfman, um, Frankenstein, Frankenstein, Creature Frank Bride, right? Sure, yeah, any number of Abbott and Costello movies, right? Uh, Wherever you know. they met, right, right. right. And, and it, so now the interesting thing about that is that you, if you wanted to look back on it, that that old series was probably one of the first shared movie universes around, right? Because like Abbott and Costello would meet the Mummy, and then they would. Go meet the you know go meet Dracula mm -hmm. and they would talk about when they met the mummy when right. they were right so it was it was a proto shared universe yeah. centered around um, the Three Stooges or Abbott and Costello Abbott which was Costello. Host horrible um, <laughs> but yeah so uh, anyway they're after a number of failed attempts to kind of make franchises out of that though I would say the Brandon Fraser mummy um, you know three decent movies made its made right. its cash yeah you know. Um, so they're rebooting that now, right? And uh, this is the first one, The Mummy, uh, starring Tom Cruise. I don't know for whatever reason, it's because I'm now I'm channeling your channel, so I'm attempting <laughs> to be a little more like movie-like, like I know what I'm talking about. That's as, funny because I don't know what I talk about when I talk about it, so. as opposed to my channel, which is very just like eh, whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. rant about shit. Yeah, um, just rant. Don't even talk about it. Nothing, yeah, uh, we ain't got to get all you know scientific and in depth. We just gotta. Just two guys talking about talking about movies. Talking about a movie yeah. that you saw and then I saw. So, have, do you were you a fan of the Brendan Fraser Mummy? Yes, yes, I actually owned the first two because the third one kind of fell down in quality. But I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a fan of the Brendan Fraser. Okay, all right. I, as am I. I. I thought they were. I thought they walked a really nice line, um, in a very. In a very superhero movie way, right? There was a little horror, there was a little action, there right. was a lot of comedy. Yep. Um, you know, it, I, I won't put it on the level, but it had the feel of the best of the Marvel movies. Right, it was, it was Marvel before Marvel, yeah. yeah. Right. That, that, that's how I saw it in my head, yep. Yeah. Um, so, and they didn't... I don't know, I've read some stuff with the director and the producer where they're not saying definitively whether the Brendan Fraser mummies are canon or mm. not. But the statement was that all Universal Monster movies, he doesn't want to ev evaporate right, anything. Right, right. So essentially they're all canon, as far as we know. Okay. Um, and that's fine because there, it's, it's not as if the events that led to the creation of the mummy were unique. And it's not like a meteor hit the planet and you got a mummy, right? right? It was right. a ritual mm -hmm. that, if if interrupted in a particular way, in theory, would reliably result in an undead, right? Which is an astonishingly stupid ritual. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, yeah. and but a lot of movies count on that. Like Superman counted on that idea of we're going to gather up the most dangerous people we know and make them immortal, mm -hmm. and then we're going to count on the fact that they don't get out of wherever it is we put them to, uh, you know, to to keep us safe. But I, I don't know that we would take serial killers and turn them into. You know, give them like a machine gun and then lock them in a room. Right. I don't know that right. there was a purpose in making them powerful and then locking them away. Probably, probably better off just locking them away. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. 
probably just end them, not make them godlike, and then go, where's it going to put them away now? Because, so, I mean, it would just make me want to, wait, I figure if if you're going to make me godlike, then I'll I'll become a criminal, and you yes. man, then eventually I'll get out, right? So yeah, so anyway, so presumably you could have had the Brendan Fraser mummy movies, and nothing about them is a paradox with right. this movie. Well, also the Brendan Frasers were set in the 50s? Yeah. I want to say. So, yeah. Yeah. And and the book makes an appearance. Oh, so the, I didn't know that. The, That's... The, the book of the dead or whatever with the gold, with the clasp and the thing, it's on a desk. Nice. In the, nice. In the library. Along with like a glass jar with a creature from the Black Lagoon hand, and <laughs> so it's just it's among okay. the background. Okay. So we can imagine that if this organization whose job it is to keep track of extra paranormal events, if the Brendan Fraser events happened, then they would have gone and secured the book. Right, right. Um, we can imagine it. Right, yeah. it could happen. Um, yeah. So there you go. So, so that's not bad. That's actually look. You're 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 starting a universe, but you're continuing the long line of the universal monsters. That that's actually yeah. That's you're, you're kind of just giving a continuity to things that didn't have it, but you instantly get to hitch on to all of that history. Nice, uh, which is pretty cool. And and the movie itself, I like. I, I like Russell Crowe. He plays Doctor Jekyll and Hyde. Right. Um, that which much I know. Yeah. They did an interesting thing with that, which was not a spoiler. Um, they inverted the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing. So he's always Hyde. If he, okay. Unless he's taking the drug, which ah. civilizes him. Okay. So if he was to lose access to the chemistry and his intellect, he would revert to, which always made more sense to me because... Dr. Jekyll and Hyde was always intended to be about civilized man keeping his monster in check. Right. But he, in the movies, he had to take action to become the monster. So mm -hmm. just don't take the drug. Right. And they would get over it by saying he was addicted to the power and it was like a drug addiction. But that was always, that wasn't the struggle, right? The struggle right. was to keep it down. Right. So now he's basically the Hulk. With a, right. with a drug. Right. That, that, that's how I saw it. It's, he's, he's always angry. He's always there. Yeah. And then he's calm when whenever yeah. the... And there's, and there's something about watching Russell Crowe try not to go crazy and murder everyone in the room that made me go home and watch Virtuosity again. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I love Russell Crowe and almost anything he does. You know, so... Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, it was good. Other than that, the movie the movie was good. Tom, you finally get to see Tom Cruise get killed, which is awesome. I mean, this is like the ninth airplane that's getting ready to crash I've seen Tom Cruise escape <laughs> from. So to have him not get out of one, as you saw in the trailer, right? To have him not get out of one was existentially satisfying in a way. I, right. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, that's great. I, it's like you're not going to survive a moment. Yeah, you're waiting for him to get out. You know, pull out some miracle, and he just. And he just doesn't, and that's that's deeply happening. <laughs> um, in in a way that oh, I I I'll watch the first half hour of Lift I repeat like always just to watch Tom Cruise get killed in different ways. Nice. Um, and I like Tom Cruise. I find him very personable, and I like him as an actor. I just there's something about watching him get killed that just yeah, makes exactly. me happy. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 you can only be bulletproof for so long and so people go, "Is he going to die?" No, no. It's Tom yeah, Cruise. No, it's not, it's not, it's Tom not Cruise not going to die. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so that was so that's that's basically the the thumbnail of the movie. I, if we're going with the rating scale, I'm giving it, you know, a solid four out of five. But my scale is so deeply logarithmic, <laughs> you know. It, it's basically movies I never see, which are one, and then movies I'm I'm never going to see again, which is the two. Wow. The movies I'll watch if someone I care about it, or if it's inter if I'm with a group of people, mm -hmm. and then four are movies that at some point I'm going to be working and going. You know what? Let me put that on. Put this on. Yep. Movies I would pay money for to own on Amazon. Nice. Right. Nice. And then five is actually interestingly enough, all my five movies I won't I I don't watch very often because they're 
they demand my attention. Right, right. They're they're up on the pedestal, so you do not. Yeah, uh, I, I, it's, I, it's, I can't it's, just casually. It's the toy that's at the top of the thing that's your favorite that you wouldn't dare play with. Like you take a, a currently a blood hand is in there, right? And yes. and because, but five is like a. A nine woman, right? They're all different. They're there for different reasons. And Oblivion is so pretty. And the soundtrack is so good that I've tried putting Oblivion on while I work. Ah. And I just can't work for an hour and whatever. Right. And, and there I am. TV, just stuck like, watching. Just trying to. Uh, uh, yeah. Watch. Or the rings are that way. I can't watch mm -hmm. the movies while I work. But I can put the production commentary on and right. Oh yeah, and waste three hours yeah. just working away. Yeah. So I'll give it a four. I'll, I'll pay my twelve dollars when it's on. Right. When it comes down. Nice. Yeah. It's not bad. So there you go. That's the mummy. <laughs> you should go see it. No one else is apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just give it a chance in the theater. That's right. Just, just give it a chance. It, it deserves. It deserves a look. And the girl is. Very attractive. Right, uh, the English woman. The yeah, movie. the crazy chick from Kingsman. Who is apparently also in a Star Trek movie I've seen and can't remember. She was Jada or whatever, the weird chick with the white makeup and the whatever, and the, the last Star Trek movie. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, that's her. Oh, yeah. I Why you would I, hire I, a girl totally that forgot. pretty and then right, turn yes. her into that, I don't know. But they did. Yeah. So there you go. And they hired her for acrobatics. I guess, because she started a Nike commercial. I saw what's the thing about her. I guess she got her start doing Nike. Like, she was in a series of commercials as an athlete. Like, okay. just do it kind of a thing. She was right. like a just do it. Girl. Right. So, yeah. <sighs> Man, I hope these mics are adjusted reasonably. <laughs> All right, anyway. So, okay. So, um, so that's the mummy. Do you that's have the any mummy. comments or questions? Um... I mean, was there any thing that said, you know, you're going to want to stick around to watch the next one, which I believe is The Bride of Frankenstein, and then the mm. next one, that I think is The Invisible Man with Johnny Depp? I think... It, like, like, I'm, like, I'm like, does it feel a stand, like a standalone movie? Or it that? does. It feels like a standalone movie. But I'm interested in the meta setup. In the same way, like, the Hellboy movies were much more interesting to me for the organization than... Mm. For Hellboy, okay, you know, um, though I like the character, I just eh, whatever. Right. Um, I have no interest in the Invisible Man. I couldn't care less about the creature <laughs> from the Black Lagoon, the Bride of Frankenstein, whatever. Frankenstein himself, De Niro covered it. Right. I'm I'm mm. done with this. Um, so I don't know. I like the Mummy was the most interesting character they had. Okay, he's their Iron Man mm. in a way. Especially the way they did it here, where, because now that he, you know, the mummy in this universe does not have to stay wrapped in bandages, dragging itself around, right? right? right. So, you know, now he's basically, you know, the, the mummy, being cursed as the mummy in this universe is essentially being Wolverine. Like, you're a, a fair, effectively immortal, you're incredibly strong, you have a couple weaknesses, but you're... Right. Um, so, but I don't know what Frankenstein, like, <laughs> you know, but again, I, there are talented people who make shit work that I didn't think was going to work. I didn't think the raccoon was going to work. I just, I got right, no right. clue about this stuff. So who knows? Um, but no, I'm not, I didn't go home going, I can't wait for the creature from the black Lagoon. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I want to see more of Russell Crowe and the organization, how they tie mm -hmm. these things into historical events. So, okay. I'll go with that. It's good. Yeah. So there you go. Alrighty. So that was your take on the mummy. On the mummy. And <laughs> I'm gonna briefly talk about Wonder Woman. I don't know if you can check the time. Uh, yeah, go check the camera. Just oh. hang on, guys. And we're back. Yeah, and we're back. So before the jump cut, if you missed it, it was the mummy. All right. Next. Yeah. So we're gonna. I'm gonna talk about Wonder Woman really quick. Um. I already did a review. Uh, you, you saw my review. That's right. You guys saw my review. Uh, it's it's a great movie. Four point five. Uh, I highly recommend. If it's still in the theater near you, go watch it. This is a complete 
uh, 180 from Batman v Superman um, and the uh, Man of Steel movie. I mean, you've got it's it's wartime, so it is dark at points, but it is light and cheery because she's bringing hope. Hope, what you thought Superman's chest, you know, the S meant hope. The man has no hope. The man was just dreary. <laughs> the man, you know, he's hopefully when 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 he's uh, resurrected because obviously he's going to come back. That's not a spoiler. That's just common sense. He's coming back. Hopefully he'll have um, a change of heart and be a lighter, more caring Superman that we recognize. Okay. Right. But uh, Wonder Woman brought hope. She was, you know, looking for. The, she she did she looked for the good in humanity, and this this movie is is just really really good, and directed well. And it turns out I saw a video where Patty it, this was Patty Jenkins' second movie. Her first one was Monster, like oh, okay. like thirteen years ago. Right. This is her second movie. She's been doing TV. Yeah. But this is her second movie. So she. I never saw Monster. Was it any good? I saw clips of it. Uh, Charlize Theron made ugly. Yeah, I can't. I can't hack it. One, one, she won an Oscar. You know, like, I'm not going to complain. Well, sure. I mean, anytime you take a hot check and make her ugly or crazy, <laughs> they're going to give me an Oscar. Right. right. So, uh, so yeah. So Patty Jenkins did, did did a great job. Hopefully, she'll do the second one since they're in negotiations, mm -hmm. and she gets paid. Um, well, and and isn't that emblematic of the idiocy of? Like, why would you not lock her into a contract? Just in case. Just throw right, right. the five just, million dollars yeah, away. Just in case. And take the option. But they, they decided, no, no, we're gonna use her once because this character may not work and And that's that's the that vision it. thing, right? Yep. Which they have none. So um, they, they have they, they, they have no faith in this. But Wonder Woman now looking towards the future, now when I started this video, I said we're going to talk about Wonder Woman as the continuation of the uh, universe. Mm -hmm. They're scrapping everything in the universe. There's they're rewriting the Flash movie. The Batman movie is on hiatus. The Aquaman movie, I think, is the only one that's still in production. And when I say production, I don't mean they started filming it or anything. It's the only one that still has a director attached to it. The only okay. one who still has a the story that they were working on. Right. So, except that's like in 2020. So, that's the only one that they're still... Yeah, yeah, that's happening. Flash is being rewritten. Batman boot is up in the air. We don't even know if... Um, uh, Batman's going to be played by... Uh, by, by Affleck? By Affleck. Oh. That's that's up in the air. Who's such a fan of Bad Flick? I I liked his Bruce Wayne. He was very broody because he was an older Bruce Wayne. Right. It, it, it wasn't the Bruce Wayne that just came back and was a you know uh, you know the the billionaire playboy. Right. The ninja badass. Right. 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 You know, Bat, this, this is a twenty year old veteran Batman. He's like, I'm tired of this guy. You know, shooting people. Oh, Batman doesn't kill. Batman killed plenty of people. <laughs> In the comics. So, you know. Uh, this completely rewrites that universe. They're looking at this movie as now as a template for the ongoing. The problem with that is that they already filmed Justice League. <laughs> sure. So Justice League is already done. And now they're going to look at this one, the, the Wonder Woman movie, and Josh Whedon, who is doing the um, the pickups and the uh, uh, reshoots, the reshoots for Justice League, is adding his touches in. But I'm not even sure if he can change whatever Zack Snyder, you know, Snyderized, right, right. you know, right, right. the Justice League. Can you make just the Justice League footage look like Wonder Woman <laughs> at this point? Is right, that you know, can. Can you show her as the center of hope, as opposed to a broody Batman, a dead Superman, uh, what was it, uh, a fish bro Aquaman? Yeah. You know, can 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 Wonder Woman be the the shining light? If he can do that, then I have hope for the universe. Mm. 
if he's working with whatever you know Schneider gave him, and he's like, I, I can't do anything with this. I I could just make it, you know, spit polish. Okay, but they've they they they've got a road ahead of them, because none of the movies except for Wonder Woman now have uh, been widely accepted. Hmm. You know, there are people who like Batman v Superman, people who like Man of Steel, but the, the wide variety of... of but those um, are like the pineapple on pizza people. I mean, it's just... <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Which you should never do, by the way. Please, what with ham? Please. Pineapple and ham on pizza is not bad. If you're in Hawaii, enjoy. <laughs> if you're in Jersey or New York, I'm sure I can find someone according to John Wick, who can kill you. <laughs> if you don't get the reference, watch John Wick. Uh, was it was it number two? Or I, cause I, I, have, I, two. I have this volume two in my head. Yeah, from, uh, I, I, think I, I think it just has There's two. A, yes, watch John Wick two, and you're going to find yourself a hitman around every corner. Mm. There you go. But yeah, uh, I mean, as good as Wonder Woman was, I'm not sure... Well, that's the problem. That Just, if Justice League is shot already that's, in. It's already shot. It's like they. It's like doing Avengers before you figured out Iron Man is the tenpole. Right. right. I mean, now they're like, oh, Wonder Woman. Oh, man. <laughs> but I don't understand how that was a question. You're looking at you're looking at the people you're thinking about making movies with, right? Mm -hmm. Focusing a movie on. You've got some dude I can't remember the name of who's Superman, right? You've got Ben Affleck. Right. You've got whoever the hell is doing whatever. I don't even know who else is. Like, this is how little I care. Right. right. And then you have a supermodel in a spangled miniskirt. I can tell you which one of these movies <laughs> to base your universe around. Right. Right. right? I, I mean, this is not challenging. Which one do we pick? Oh, I don't know. Which one will people go see? The supermodel, dude. Pick the supermodel. Yeah. <laughs> Every single time. because it, and it's the only one that had a girl in it. I don't even. I, well, I'm sorry. Superman had whoever was. And they have the Lois Lane. Uh, and I she was cute. Her name. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. You're cute. Um, <laughs> freckles, blonde hair. Yes. Takes herself too seriously to get undressed. Um, not Amy Adams, right? Amy, Amy Adams. Is it Amy Adams? No. No. All right, but anyway, I'm not going to Google it on camera. You go figure right, it right, out. Right. You guys already know yeah. who it is. Whoever it is. Not the girl from House of Cards. Not the other one that looks just like her. Okay. So anyway, her. Right. And then, oh, and in one of the Batmans, they had Margot, the girl from Secretary. Um, she's got a brother who's also in Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Hall. Joan Hall. Maggie Gyllenhaal. Fine actress, not I can. No. So I don't know. Anyway, so this is really the first DC movie with a really hot girl right. looking hot. Yeah. Which they made uh, mention to in a movie. She, they, they, they tried to to uh, dress her modern, you know, modern to, mm. that, to that time. Right. And then he was looking at her. And then the secretary, this is a joke, so it's not really a spoiler in the movie. It's just a joke in a movie. And, she's, and she says, try not to look at her like she's the most attractive woman you have ever seen. <laughs> He's like, right. And she's in regular clothes. Well, but, but she's supposed to be, right? She's a superhero. Right. I, I just, before we left today to come here, I saw something about, I guess there's been an uproar about a leaked version of Joss Wheaton's What's supposed to be Josh Wheaton's script for Wonder Woman? I guess he did. Oh, one. right, right, right. Yeah, like ten, like ten years ago. He yeah, wrote one. and yeah. and it's Buzzfeed or the Daily Dot was like, it's the single most sexist thing you've ever seen in your life, right? <laughs> and 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 I'm like, so I'm reading their description, and they're like, Wonder Woman goes into a nightclub and she has to get the uh, attention of the villain, so obviously she does it by dancing sexy. Mm -hmm. And but then you read the section of the script they reproduce, and that's not what. That's not what's going on, right? Like, mm. yes, it's she gets attention, but Wheaton had written her as an elemental force, 
Like, she's a god. Mm -hmm. Like, not actually fashioned from people, right? Right, right, so, right. So this woman walks into a room, and yes, an entire nightclub of men yeah, essentially the stop moving yeah. and watch her walk by. That's not sexist. Right, no, no, not at all. But, but you can say it that way. You can go, the right. most oh, powerful yes. woman oh, yes. in the world Thank walks you. into a room, and obviously every guy stares at her ass. But that's not what we're, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's not how it was written on the page. So if you're caught up in the controversy, read the leaked script. I think yeah. it's much less, from the segments I've seen, it's Joss, right? But I think it's a lot less two-dimensional than they gave mm. it credit for, right? But so she's supposed to be like right. nothing you've ever seen. Right, exactly. She's from a, an island of Amazonian who you, or you immediately think the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. Amazonian uh, warrior women. And particularly at what World War One is this? Right, World War One. So before Pilates, before anybody knew what strength training really was for <laughs> women, you get a chick walking through who's been fighting her whole life. I right. Mean, which brings me to, by the way, one of the luckiest jobs on the planet. Apparently, she was pregnant when they did reshoots. Yeah. So they had the Wonder Woman outfit with a green panel in the belly, and some dude spent like. What what are you doing today? I'm I'm on a 4K monitor with <laughs> this much of Gal Gadot or whatever how right. do you say that in the middle of my screen, and all I'm doing is sculpting her ass right. today. <laughs> when are you going to be done? Never. I'm literally never done with this job. Right. <laughs> when are you going to finish? It doesn't matter. That's right. <laughs> Why would I finish? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So but yeah. So I don't know. I. Wait, so I don't know if they can salvage it. I mean, uh, Justice League. Yeah. I mean, Justice League was it? I think it's out in November, so we we're I mean we're gonna find out this year. So those, I mean, if Justice League was coming out next year, and we had something in between, then maybe you know we wouldn't be coming off such a a hot like if they had a, an Aquaman that was yeah. okay or something, we wouldn't be coming off such a high. But it's Wonder Woman, and what I'm expecting, Avengers. Not mm -hmm. Avengers, uh, Justice League. So, I mean, See, if they don't mind throwing away a billion dollars, what they should do is just jettison everything they have in the can, treat her as their Iron Man, keep the Superman v. Batman movie they have, mm -hmm. and but in the time frame between here and there, just go fast and furious on this thing. Show us Wonder Woman meeting the proto-Batman. Show us Wonder Woman finding mm. Superman. And then we'll get to Batman versus Superman, where it should have been at the end of four movies. Right. And then we can, and in like 2019, let's go do Justice League. No. That's never going to happen. No. No. Just, Justice League is, almost, I'm, you know, I'm just going to say he's probably almost in the can. So they've, yeah. got, they've got a lot of CGI and stuff and work to do, but... It's out of November. That that that's done. They're 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 not working. They're not continuing on that. Yeah. That's that, uh, that's in the can. That's gonna be rough. Yeah. So I don't know if Fishbro can save it. Well. Well, Gal Gal Gadot is our eye candy. Fishbro is the women's eye candy, because Jason Momoa will bring all the women. Yeah. To the yard, as I say. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's fine, right? Because if he's having a good time and she's having a good time, right? If between the two of them is outsiders, they can anchor the insanity that is brooding Batman and right. I'm so sad Superman, right? Because apparently, infinite power is <laughs> a burden, right? He's essentially a vampire without even the need to drink blood. Like he, there's literally no downside to being Superman, except people on the street might recognize. I'm at a loss. Yeah, I got nothing to say about that. That's just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, <All> right. <laughs> well, that was our take on the Wonder Woman DC Universe recap. The Wonder Woman DC Extended Universe, because they can't make it DC Universe, because that's what their comics are labeled. So it's DC Extended Universe and the Dark Universe with the Mummy. That's right. 
So uh, wait, DC wouldn't license their own name to their own movies. No, it, it, they've got to keep it separate so that you don't think they're talking about one versus oh. the other. So it's DC EU as mm. opposed to DCU. As, and Marvel has the Marvel Cinematic the MCU. Right. All right. I see it. Which, which which works because it's still like you know Marvel Comics universe, Marvel Cinematic. It's, it's still a C. So when you read it, you're like, oh, Marvel Comics. Okay. But if I had one wish, I would DC go to both EU. companies and like basically put a gun to their head and tell them to stop fucking with the continuity. <laughs> like every time they're like, oh, that happened on Earth three hundred ninety four point five. Right. Gonna re- right. Screw that. Man. You would think once you started making movies that you are now locked into a continuity, but I don't think that's. I think they're going to be more than capable of. No, I mean if I mean if Fox has anything to do with it, the mutant movies are just jumbled all over the place. They don't understand continuity at all. They're trying to continue now from the the new class. Yeah. They're trying to continue that line. Except they're still sticking, you know, McAvoy and Fassbender, and then they're going to go, oh, but, uh, you know, Wolverine's going to have, you know, yeah. uh, Stuart. Right. And they're... The, the only movie that interests me, I mean, I, I watch them, but Deadpool in the Fox universe. Sure. De- Deadpool will will just be, all, will always be the, the top of, of right, the right. Fox universe. Because he can reference both because he's... You know, he's Deadpool. Good. Yeah, right. So, all right, alrighty. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. You know, we'll, our, we'll, our first collab here. We'll talk Transformers another time, I think. Yep, that's, that's after we've seen it. Maybe. That that's the next review is Transformers. Maybe it'll be a another collab said, review, it'll, or it'll be a double review. I, I don't know why I keep feeling like I have to leave. It's because I can't see the screen. Oh, you can't see the screen. So I, can't, I feel like yeah. I need to. No, I'm, I'm I'm used to looking at the camera lens. Whenever I whenever I do a video, uh, so. yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm always <laughs> looking at my own monitor. So like everybody is, watches me in the car, I'm always looking vaguely to the right of the selfie camera. But you're also driving, so it's it's, it's kind of like you you're, you're looking at the road. The amount of mail. Well, I mean, I have like twelve viewers, so I mean, right, but right. half of them have written me fully fifty percent engagement, <laughs> which I think that's two times more than me, by yeah, the way. But fifty percent yeah. engagement, obviously, yes, yes, right. Um, but no, I get messages from people all the time, like, "Please stop driving while you're whatever." <laughs> One winter, they saw me almost crash, and I got a message because, like, I'm, I'm literally, I'm talking, and then I stop talking for a second, and my eyes get ready. <laughs> <laughs> and out of the back window of the car, it just fishtails just a little. Nice. And then it stops, and I, I go back to what I was talking about. Somebody's like, 12 minutes, 37 seconds. They're like, were your tires attached to the road? I'm like, no, we were drifting through a stoplight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are the best. I mean, those, uh, those, those car videos, it's just like, yeah, yeah, okay, right, 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 right. Okay, yeah. Oh, I, I, All right, we're, I we're, shuddered the first day. And we're I, back. Yeah, you're right. Some cops going to pull me over and he's going to be like, what were you doing? And I'm going to be like, like I'm going to be like trying to shut the camera <laughs> off without him seeing the finger. Right. Which would be great, except he'll shoot me. I'll be like reaching for something. And be like, Put your hands up. Oh, I just kind of did it off the live stream. <laughs> no. All right, so first collab. Um, if you watch it on my channel, go watch his channel. If you watch it on his channel, come over to mine. I doubt seriously our audience has much overlap in the moment. So we could double our viewers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Th- there will be links on the bottom, you know, to his channel on my page and links, I guess, uh, to mine. On yeah, his. I'll probably put a thumbnail of him. So, so, so yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> <coughs> oh, all right, there we go. All right. Turn it so, off. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>